If you watched episode 22, then you know that we started that episode with a discussion about none other than Kanye West. I was interviewing Lucia Vakulumpaji, who is the head of Vakulu Power, which is a Ugandan power company that she founded. Now, what was so fascinating, other than the conversation about Kanye West, is the fact that Lucia had no background in the power industry, and yet she saw a need. She felt the need to step in to do something to help bring electricity to rural areas in Uganda. What was interesting, though, was Lucia's response when I asked her who she would pick as a dinner date. You will be amazed. So we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to do a quick fire round. So the rules are, I'll ask you a question. Mm -hmm. First thing that comes to mind, that's the answer you give. Okay. You don't have time to think through your answers. Okay. okay. All okay. right. Okay. Describe yourself in three words. First thing I thought was fun. Um, I thought nice. And I thought um, persistent. Who's the first person who comes to mind when I say the word successful? Because so, you're laughing because I know you're thinking <laughs> I'm thinking Kanye, but it's not who I'm thinking. Okay, who's the first person <laughs> who comes to mind when, you, when, you, when I say the word successful? Because uh, I'm looking at you, Oprah. You look at me, Oprah? Because I'm looking at you, the first person who comes to mind Oprah. <laughs> I, was yeah. like, I could be Oprah. I could be whoever you want me to be for to get this interview. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, because well, you're a journalist, a very accomplished. You know, very, Thank very. You. We should really turn the mic around for her. Oh. And yeah, that's because I'm looking at you, Oprah. Okay. Favorite book. Never Eat Alone by Keith Frazzi. Come on. Your favorite gift to give. Oh, I like giving gifts. I don't have a favorite gift because it depends on the person. My favorite gift is when I get something that, like, I know if they found it on like a park bench, they'd know it was for them and they'd know it's for me. And what's the best gift you've ever received? <sighs> mm, 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 mm. My sister was in, I think she was in Vienna at the time, or I don't know, somewhere in Europe, and she got me this like Mozart cookie cutter, which I really like because I, it just was like, you got, I, I like to bake a lot. So it was really like, you know, you didn't just get me like a t-shirt, which is great. Like you really got me, you know, something that's authentic to where you are and it's what I like. And I mean, one of my other sisters gave me a KitchenAid mixer and I screamed so loud that I actually scared my daughter. So I think those two. So I guess you bake a lot. Though. I love to bake. I bake a lot like every day. What's your favorite thing to eat? Talking about baking. Um, to eat, I love pizza. Mm. Yeah. Um, if we're talking baked stuff, I like uh, financier. No, you sound. I just came up from France. I, just, I, I was just. I have no doing... idea. I'm gonna have to Google <laughs> that one out. What is it? It's a it's a particular cake. From where? Um, they make them in France, but uh, like it's made with almond flour. It's just like a kind of cake. Very fancy. Yeah. You know, like now, that. if you had to have dinner with two people, pick two people to have dinner with, who would it be? A lot. No. The past is my parents. Um, it's easy. Um, alive. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we're doing off the top of my head, aren't we? Sorry. Um, <laughs> off the top of my head, if we're being honest, and you guys are totally, everyone will totally judge me for this, but one of the first person I thought of was Kris Jenner. Um, uh, other person, I look at you, I think of Oprah. You know what? So funny. You and I had a messaging or WhatsApp exchange about Chris Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> so you know I'm being honest. I know you're being honest. I'm not. I, I can't. Know. I'm not. You, saying... you said this to me before. Yeah. But you know you admire her business acumen. I do. Right. right so it is on top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite item of clothing that I own or that like, exists? That exists. Ooh. Um. Honest, I like lingerie. And what's your favorite time of day, and why? Any time the sun's shining. I just, I like when the sun's like directly on my face. Like I'll wake up in the morning and like just like even lie on the floor in the sun. Like and my daughter's like, I want breakfast. I'm like, I need the sun. So, yeah. What well, can't you get through a day without? Music. And what's your, what would be? Ah, <laughs> oh, you walked into it. <laughs> I walked into that one. What would you listen to if you were listening to music? <laughs> um, easy. Well, you know, honestly, if we're being honest, Norma, I listen to 
like Kanye, like that whole crew, you know, I listened to um, like Sahai, like the whole crew, you know, um, or I listened to a lot of times to like um, music from when I was a little kid. I'll listen to like that like 90s R&B, you know what I mean? Like, I think I think that's just kind of me like, you know, going back into like my memory vault. So you'll catch me on like a mean Jodeci spree where I'm like playing <laughs> Jodeci <laughs> nonstop, like nonstop. What's the screensaver on your phone? My daughter. What's your favorite app? What's that? <laughs> or Twitter. I, I like Twitter a lot. Yeah. Twitter, what's that? Other than your phone and your purse, what else would you carry with you always when you're leaving the house? I don't even normally have a purse with me. Um, a lip balm. Normally, I just I can have like my bank card and a lip balm. What's the favorite place you've ever been to or visited? Hmm, like in the world. Mm -hmm. The world. Um, I might have to say the south of France. But it's close because it's just there. Um, south of France. Even oh, you know what, Florence. Mm. That's also my mom's name. But um, Florence is really beautiful. Like those, yeah, there's parts, places in Italy and South of France where you're like, yeah, I saw people fall in love here. If you had to pick a theme song for your life, hmm. what would it be? Hmm. Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> yeah. Why am I not surprised by that? <laughs> What's your worst habit? I've started cutting people off when they're talking. That's a bad habit which I did not have before. Why do you think it's come about? I think I just get too excited. Yeah, I think I get, I just get really excited. And it's a very bad habit. What do you wish you had more of in your life? I, everyone could use more love. You know, I don't know. Who couldn't use, I don't know, you know. Um, I mean, maybe the obvious one would be money. <laughs> I don't know. But I wouldn't even say money. And what's a question that you wish I'd asked you that I didn't ask? You know, normally I could give someone a lot of, a lot of things like, oh, why didn't you ask me that? I can't give you one. I think you're like, you're awesome. Oh. Um, final question. So this platform and what I'm doing with this initiative is called Ndini, which in my mother tongue, Shona means I am. And I, I truly believe in the power of what you speak about yourself really helps to shape your destiny. So if you had to finish that sentence, I am. It's really, it's doing the top of my head. <laughs> the first thing I thought was awesome, but um, it's because I'm with my kids so much. Um, I'd say powerful. I am powerful. You are. Aw, thank you. you thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. I'm so glad that we Finally, I made know. it happen. You're not off in Morocco no. and here and Italy and South of France. I was in Morocco in like two weeks actually. <laughs> like every time I'm like, where are you in the world? Like, isn't that how I start my, my yeah, message? Yeah. To, where in the world are you today? Because you travel so much. Yeah. So thank you. Thank no, you so no, much for thank making you. the time. No, I really thank you. I'm it. like totally, I'm totally humbled. I'm totally flattered. You know, and thank you. continued success. What you're doing is, you. is an amazing thing that will literally change people's lives thank you that is like the whole thing it, i think it's transformative yeah which i i think it's really cool thank you thank you